Hello. So I think I'm just going to do a general thing first of announcement of what the health readings are. And then we jump right into your reading. I'm really quick with it. Don't worry. So the health readings, because I know it's hard for some people to understand. Um, I don't know why, but it's okay. We're going to explain it. The health readings are, yes, it can be physical, but it also can be emotional. And whatever you're going through in your life can affect you physically. So if you've ever heard of the saying, the weight of the world on your shoulders, you know, it's because you have a lot of stress and you can feel your shoulders tensing up here. Okay. So that's just an example. It's actually quite true. It's actually true. Not quite. It's true. All right. So if I'm talking about emotions, do not get caught up in that. It's just not physical. It's not a health reading. Yes, it is because your emotions affect you physically. So whatever you're feeling that I did not mention physically and the universe just wants me to jump right into the emotion sometimes, then whatever you're feeling, analyze it. Go, oh gosh, um, heartbreak. I'm talking about a heartbreak. Then you go, oh my God, my chest has been tight. I've been feeling like I've been weighing heavy because, you know, I'm depressed over this heartbreak. You can feel these things physically. So do not root out the emotions. And there are different kinds of health, right? So if the universe wants to bring me emotional health and tell you about it, then that's your emotional health. It's still, it's still your health. <laughs> All right. So a lot of times what we're going through affects us physically. And if it's not affecting you physically, then it's affecting your, it's affecting you somehow. It's affecting your emotions. So I'm going to be telling you about your life. Also like, oh, I see that love is here. Or sometimes it doesn't pop up as any kind of ailments and I'm seeing good things now. Like, oh, so that means your health is looking up. That means all these good things are coming to you. This all has an effect on you. It's all one. It's all one. Please get that, that it's all one. All right. So let's just jump right into the reading here. All right. I hope that explained it well for you. Okay. Let's jump right in. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your health reading for the month of March, 2023. So I have, let's go for the physical stuff. For the physical stuff, for some of you, I have your back. So any part of your back, of course. All right, I have knees. <laughs> that's what I have for you, okay? So if that's not you, then it's not you. That's okay. We're still going to dive deep into what you are feeling. If you're feeling anything at all physical, then we're going to dive into why. So we're, let's get into the emotions. Let's get to what's going in, on in your life, all right? So I have that you just need to go for it. Just go for it. Take action. You know what go for it is. You know that it is. <clears throat> so go for it. Leave the baggage behind. Yes, it's going to be a rocky road because nothing is easy in the beginning. Um, <clears throat> but if you keep persevering, you'll get there. It's going to be worth it because what I see here yet again for a lot of signs is that this is part of your life calling, your purpose. So you have a life path that you come here with and you need to follow it is what I'm getting, right? You need to start to pursuing it because it'll lead to you being <clears throat> happy in a celebratory mode here, okay? So a lot of you need to go into hermit mode. You need to go into reflection. You need to seek um, truth and you're, have spiritual clarity, okay? Come out wiser and stronger. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you might have had a falling out with someone. That person is coming back to apologize. It could be you too. Remember, the roles can be reversed, but I'm seeing this person coming back to apologize to you. All right. Um, or just want to make men's. Even if you are the wrong one, they just want to come and mend this situation. All right. I also see here financial abundance, but by way of multiple sources of income for most of you, um, let me know if that's you, comment below. Yeah, multiple sources of income. So that's what I have. I honestly, if the aches and pain is coming from this situation, all you have to do is follow your life path. Just be, li just live in your purpose, but you do need to reflect because it's not easy. You know, it's something new for you. You're going to go on a new path. So you, de you do need to go deep into like meditation and reflect and seek. Okay. And so that's what they're telling me that you have to do. And you, you mend this situation with your friend, your family member, or a, lo a lover, whomever it is. It's, 
they're coming with a gesture and you have to uh, accept their apology because I don't think anything was that bad, okay? If it was, it's it happens. I don't see this being something where you need to walk away from because normally I'm always saying walk away. If you know my readings, I'm always saying that, but this is not that situation. Mend this, all right? Follow your life path, your purpose, and congratulations because the multiple sources of income is finally going to start to hit soon, okay? Sometimes it takes time for that to happen. And for the remedy, I pulled cards for the remedy here. And the remedy says, life is full of surprises, okay? So just go with the flow of the universe, just which means to trust it, trust the process, and also your intuition, okay? Because you, you have high intuition, whether your leadership role is spiritual or not, because some people might be like, oh, it's not spiritual. Okay, fine. Then I see, like everyone else that I've been getting lately, counseling, teaching, but it's or a leadership role. It's still a big role you have here, okay? So you have to embrace it. It's your purpose. It's your life purpose, okay? Also, like I said, trust in your the universe, trust your intuition. It's, it's all one anyway, right? And if it starts to feel like a burden, this situation, your actual life path, it's it's just that you have to do better time management. I'm getting that for you guys. Maybe um, Scorpios, you're not good at time management or the ones at least watching me. All right. That's what I have for you. Let me tell you what body parts you govern over Scorp Scorpio. BRB. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And leave a comment. Thank you. All right, Scorpio. So you govern over the sexual organs. So just know that the reason why I tell you what body parts you govern over is that you're more susceptible to those areas getting injured or, you know, having illnesses and all these things. Okay. So it's good to know. You need to look out for those things and you'll, you'll see why. All right. So if anything is bothering you like your lower back or anything you need to it's coming up in the reading for a reason you need to check it out you need to work on it if you do alternative medicine or or more like on the medical field here side of things i mean then whichever works for you okay i'm more of a natural girl myself so i would get massages and as a massage therapist of course i would do that and other things of course uh supplements and such all right so until next time, Scorpio, lovely doing this reading for you. Toodaloo.